Hello, beloveds, and happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. I wanted to share some insight and inspiration with you today, as well as give you some insight of what I'm up to, what I'm doing, why you're not seeing me here that much, and where you can find me. So happy Wednesday, beloveds. First off, thank you so much for continuing to support me and follow me and, and really just being a part of something wonderful. Hey, Christian. Hey, Claudia. Thanks so much for tuning in, beloveds. And so I wanted to share with you, first of all, what I normally do on Wednesdays is love medicine. And I want to tell you what love medicine is. So if you want to be a part of it, you can be a part of it because I'm changing things up. As many of us have had some huge shifts and transformations during this super full moon blood moon total lunar eclipse we've all had these huge shifts and transformations that are carried over from 2018 and so we're all beginning to truly transform even the world outside is transforming even though it might feel scary we don't know what's going on there is change because change is constant and now we're changing we've been watching the world out there change and now we are within changing and this change is bringing about much transformation and much needed healing and so love medicine what love medicine really is is really where i get to share with you as a spiritual teacher as a spiritual coach my inspired um, teachings it is where i can support you through my um, practices and principles as a science of mind practitioner or as a student and teacher of A Course in Miracles or as a, you know, as a metaphysical librarian, I call myself, and all these different other things. But it is where I send and support and really serve. It's like your online church. That's what love medicine is. And so if that's something that you know you would love to be a part of or that you need some spiritual guidance or that you, and it's not about guidance, let me take that back. If you need some spiritual support, if you are doing the practices and you're making prayers, but you would, le would like a little bit more support, that's what I'm here for with this, um, with love medicine. And I forgot I didn't even put up a title or anything. I just kind of went live today. And so I just want to let you know. So that's what love medicine is. So if you want to be a part of this inspired weekly circle, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me an email at tarotlifecoach at gmail.com. And the reason I'm doing this is because again, this is a sacred space and so is love medicine. And if that's something that you really want to be a part of, you're invited and remember this is a totally free again donation based if you want to you know send some love because i'm sharing love it's all up to you and so that's what love medicine is all about but also because i'm switching gears i did want to share a message though that does come from my heart and that does support your transformation during this time my husband and i have this sacred project together of one of many and this one is taken right from A Course in Miracles. And what it says is, vision shows you where to go. Why should you guess? And what this truly means to me as a spiritual teacher, as a metaphysical librarian, and as a student and teacher of A Course in Miracles is that, you know, we are given the vision. We know who we're meant to be. You know, not all of us are meant to be Beyonce. Not all of us are meant to be the next, you know, Michael Jordan, but we know who we are meant to be. And when we li allow ourselves to follow that vision, we don't have to guess. We spend so much time, oh, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know who I want to be. Yes, you do. We all know who we want to be. I've always known that I was the high priestess. I proved it to myself with a tattoo. That brings forth the, the metaphysical librarian. That is what a high priestess is, the high you know, and even in the days of King Arthur and, and you know, and even in our Game of Thrones, there is a high priestess, the red, what did they call her? The red witch, I think was her name. The, again, that idea of that high seeing energy. That's who I've always been. That's why I'm the intuitive psychic one. Once I stopped battling that energy, the vision became clear. So I did not have to guess anymore. Who do I need to be? What do I need to do? And so, beloveds, this is your invitation to really step into that and say, yeah, I, I do know my purpose. The thing is, you've got so many things cluttered in front of your purpose that you cannot see it. 
because we've been programmed and deprogrammed to disconnect ourselves from our true vision and plug into the system. So many of us are plugged into the system. Remember the matrix? It sounds so true right now, doesn't it? And so when we allow ourselves to unplug from the system and plug back into ourselves, many of us, that's where we get lost, including myself. I had no idea who I was. When I was plugged into the system, I was Tanya, this person, this librarian. I was a single mom. I was this, I was this, I was this. But when I unplugged from the system and gave myself fresh breath, I had no idea who I was. And so it's taken a process of rediscovering myself through spiritual practice, through spiritual failure, through spiritual bypass and by spiritual upliftment and spiritual, you know, um, practice and spiritual faith and spiritual growth and spiritual evolution until it turned into personal transformation. When I could bring it home into my peace, into my heart, into my body. And that's again, because we get, we don't know how to breathe into our own vision. We don't know how to give it air. We don't know how to give it, it, you know, we don't know how to give it life. And, and that's where getting support asking questions and allowing yourself to say, you know what, I don't know how to get there. I know that's where I want to go, but I don't know how to get there. You know, I see so many people struggling because they don't want to invest their time, their treasure, or their energy into getting what they want. They want somebody to tell them, me, a psychic, or they want a book or a class to just make it easy. Beloveds, I'm here to tell you, it takes soul work. It's going to take your time. It's going to take your money. It's going to take your energy to heal yourself. A few years ago, right before I got married, and so many people asked me, they're like, oh my God, you went from here to here so fast. No, I didn't. <laughs> you just saw that. It went like a flash for people who are watching me from the outside, but from the inside, I had, I, 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 in 2016, no, in 2016, right before I got married, that year between 2015 and 2016, I spent over $10,000 and I'm not telling you the, the price so you know, oh, I, I had this kind of money. I'm telling you this because I invested over $10,000 in myself, in B-School, Be True Brand You, um, uh, Daniel Laporte. I put in my time. I put in my money. I invested in myself. And when I invested in myself, then I was able to harvest on the outside. The thing is, many of us forget, oh, I can do it. I can do it. I, oh, I can figure it out. I can, and if I, if I just, if I do this, if I maneuver this, if I manipulate that, if I, if I, if I, if I stop, because if you could do it, beloved, you would have already done it by now. If you were the genius to figure out how to heal yourself, you would have already been healed. You would have no problems. And I'll tell you what, I still invest in myself. I'm enrolled in classes. I'm enrolled in groups that all support my spiritual growth. I get an email. I get updates. I set, you know, I set the screen time on my phone. And so we've got to invest our time and our treasure. We've got to, again, remind ourselves our vision has shown us where to go. The thing is, we want to go our way. But then don't ask spirit, show me what to do, show me what to do. And then you want to make it on your own way. If you could make it on your own by now, you would have already been there. Feel me? So beloveds, don't keep spinning. Bless you. Bless you, beloved Jillian. Thank you so much. Don't keep spiraling. Don't keep wasting your time trying to figure it out. Go ahead and spend the money. Go ahead and spend your time. Go ahead and spend your energy healing yourself. Stop waiting for somebody to make you feel good. Stop waiting until you lose weight. Stop waiting and waiting and wishing and wondering and all these things. Invest in yourself. Give the best to yourself. That way you can be the best to yourself. You can't be the best to anybody else if you can't be the best to you. Thank you for spending some time with me today. So again, if you want to be a part of Love Medicine, it will be a weekly gathering. Again, we will be supported with some spiritual books, Course in Miracles. And I will, of course, bring in some of my other spiritual practices and principles. 
However, our, our focus will be A Course in Miracle inspired. And so if you've been A Course in Miracles curious, if you don't even know what it is, but want to come anyway and just listen to me talk, then join me. Send me an email either at tarotlifecoach at gmail.com or comment here. I'm going to look at all of those. And again, and today I just want you to know because I am just so blessed, so, so blessed to do the work that I am here to do and to write the book that I am meant to write and to serve the spirits that I am here to serve. I want you to know that I would love to support you in prayer today. So if you have a prayer request, I am taking your prayer request today. So again, comment below. And again, you know, you don't have to put a lot of detail, just, you know, whatever it is you need a prayer for, know that you're supported. You're supported today and all of your days. I'm sending you so much love and light. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me and following me. And I should tell you, please follow me on Brown Girls Who Bruja. I have a Facebook page as well as a 16, over 16 thousand member or followers over on brown girls who bruja it's growing so fast so please join me on brown girls who bruja and also follow me at tanya r gonzalez on instagram as well that is where you will find me i will be spending less time here so i can write heal sister heal as well as support you with prayer and different things so i'm grateful to share some love medicine with you today and until next time beloveds peace and blessings happy wednesday